Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Taterbuggin, back again today. And I need a little bit more air conditioning, I realize. Um, let me get going down here while my friends get here. How are my friends today? I hope I'm really live. Yeah, I think I am. Okay. Opa, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be on the phone getting your surgery scheduled for tomorrow. Girl, what am I going to do with you? Hey, Becky. I got to get this right. Something seems weird. I was a little bit late. Hey, Jody. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing today because we're going to play with the solar wood flowers again. Hey, Mary and Diane and Carol. Oh, okay. They're going to go on and get it going for you in the morning. Get it over with. That's great. Hey, Michelle and Cindy, Angela, Norma, Patricia. Thanks for tossing the taters, Cindy. Hey, Debbie. Good afternoon, Marie. How's everybody doing? It is hot and muggy here. Um, it's been busy, but all good. It's been all good. I've got my little, my little craft bowl here with warm water in it for our flowers. We're gonna play together and we're gonna experiment today. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna end up doing with them once they dry. Hey Mavis and Kat, Debbie, uh, it, that's a really good question, Jody. It will be this week. That that much I know. That I can narrow it down to this week. I have to have it done this week. Hey, Stacy and Cindy. Wait, let me. I'm, I'm I'm missing a few. Brenda. Hey, Rita. Yeah, I am too, Rita. <laughs> We're gonna see. Hey, Labriska. How are you doing? I miss you, my friend. Miss you, miss you. Hey, Rose. Uh, yes, Patricia, we are. Opa was just saying she's got to get there at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and her procedure's at 8.30, so y'all keep her in your prayers um, for her surgery and a speedy, uneventful recovery for her. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for sprinkling, Angela. Uh, I saw this morning that um, our Carrie Richardson, her daughter's sick. We need to be praying for her. Our temperature came down so fast. And, uh, yeah, I need to talk to you, Labriska. Um, hey, Wendy and our sweet Betty. Uh, let's let's say a prayer for her, too. Uh, I think she had a rough start to today. So, I don't see her here, and that worries me a little bit because she's usually here, too. So, hey, Mary and Lori and Jan from Virginia. Okay, let me just show you what my sweet Mr. Tater Buggin cut for me. Is this not beautiful? He cut and stained this to look like a cutting board. It's about this thick. And I want to use some Sola flowers. Okay, I sure will, Labriska. Thank you. Um, Sola flowers on the bottom. But before I do that, I want to practice with the glycerin and um, dipping them in that glycerin water solution or mixture so that they'll soften, they'll stay soft and they won't break. And I'll tell y'all this, I ordered the, the Sola dye and the estimated delivery, where can I put this, uh, was yesterday. And then, <laughs> Yesterday happened and it didn't get here and um, so I checked again this morning and it was leaving Utah at 8 this morning so I don't think it's gonna be here in Memphis today and I know it's not here now while we're live so we're gonna go a different route and we'll do we're gonna compare two techniques with those I just thought it would be fun to do with y'all I had so many I, I honestly didn't know what I was gonna do for sure until uh, about 15 minutes ago so, <laughs> how about that? Um, but I just, I thought this would be fun. Y'all have kind of been wanting to, to do this, and I know I have. Didn't he do a good job, y'all? It's so pretty. I've actually got two of them. 
Oh, did you, Judy? Good. Yeah, I know I've been a little nervous, and I thought this will force me to just go on and do it if I'm sitting here with 81 of my closest friends. <laughs> I have heard, um, Stephanie, that you really should let them dry for two weeks. I am an impatient person. We're just going to see what happens. Um, Labriska, I haven't gotten it yet. I'll have to read up on that. I did put my link uh, in the description. They were having a big sale. So I just went on and got some. Um, I think the four ounce bottles of dye were $4 each. And um, I think I probably got... I kind of went well. I think maybe I got five or six colors. I can't remember for sure. Um, you're number 86, Sherry. Oh, yeah, we're up to 89. Yes. Um, all You've got good questions. Barbara, that's a good question. Uh, I need to read up on it. I just, I love the look and the feel and the everything about these solo flowers. And two of my sweet tater bugs sent me some to try. Hey, Leanne, you're so sweet to hop on while you're at work. Um, I guess it's going to... I'm thinking here in the summer, I could probably set them outside and speed the process along. I have heard you can also um, uh, dry them in your oven on low, 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 low heat. I would have to do a little more research before I put my pretty flowers in the oven. But, I, you know, it stands to reason, you know, you can do that with other things. So, maybe these wood flowers. So, we're going to, um, I'll ask him, oh, but I don't know about that. Maybe so. They're kind of big. Um, shipping might be a bit of a bear on this. I think it's this size that I'm going to use is almost 12 inches round um thank you for that link opa uh, but y'all i don't does anybody know what they make these from i'm really not sure i just fell in love with them so much that i've ordered another box of them and uh we're gonna play with them i read that you're gonna need one part hey allison one part glycerin this is vegetable glycerin i ordered it off of amazon and that's backwards um but i think i put it in my amazon store i'll check as soon as we get off if i didn't i will add it um yes labriska yeah they're, they're solo wood flowers um maybe do a smaller version opa i'll ask him I think so too, Judy. It turned out so pretty. And, you know, we use reclaimed wood. It's just reclaimed wood. Uh, but it said one part glycerin to ten parts water. I'm not measuring. So I've got this bowl of water because the, fl the flower should fit down in here well enough. So all I'm going to do is take this little cap and put it in here. And let's just go for it. We're going to see what happens. The ones I used um, before on my projects, I did not do this to, and um, because I didn't know about this, I just got excited and used them, <laughs> like I tend to do. And um, so now I know, and we're gonna, we're just gonna try this. It's not Opa. I'll get that added. Um, this particular glycerin that I ordered and it's not expensive um, I'll get that added to my shop afterwards maybe I was waiting to get it I don't know it just came yesterday yeah Lori you know me uh, fly by the seat of my pants here but I think that's about right doesn't it look about right one cap to this this bowl of water 10 to 1 that'll work right we'll see what happens <laughs> Oh, this is why I was never good at science. How was it? <laughs> now, from what I read, and yes, I did do some uh, reading up on it. We're going to take, we got over 100 already, 117. Yay. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it by its base, and what I read was you hold it in the water, count to three, and then pull it out. Do I, Sherry? Thank you. Okay, that fits pretty good. One, two, three. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. Now what I'm gonna do, let me just go on and do two or three of these and then we're gonna we're gonna play with coloring them. Hey Robin, we are playing with solar wood flowers. I got my glycerin came yesterday and so we're gonna um, we're gonna dip them in the glycerin water and then I'm gonna try since my dye didn't come in, we'll try the dye after I get it. But since my dye didn't get in on time, I'm going to try a different way that I read you could do it. <laughs> Wendy, I'm sorry. Don't look. <laughs> hey, Allison, how are you? Uh, Sandy, I would be more than happy to. In fact, I bet Opal would do that for me. Um, Opal, would you um, comment the link to my art classes? for me. All right, there's that one. Isn't it so pretty? Okay, now y'all look at this one. Now I know technically this isn't a poppy, right? But I want to paint it like a poppy and see if I can kind of make it look like a poppy. I don't know. This may be a hard fail again today, y'all. I don't know. One, two, three. And I read that the glycerin is really good for your skin. It'll soften your skin. So I didn't put on gloves. Um, okay, and another one. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm experimenting with y'all today. That's all I'm doing. So these are all kind of um, open flowers, and I chose this one on purpose because the petals are so tight together. I'm gonna try. Uh, coloring these too and just see what happens. Aren't they beautiful, Robin? There are so many beautiful ones. I'm dying to order the succulents, but last time I looked, I think they were sold out. But, oh, I'm dying to get the succulents. One, two, three. And this is supposed to um, protect them from breakage, any breakage once they uh, after, I guess after a few years, they might get brittle or something. Um, oh, you had ordered your softener? Oh, I would sure contact customer service on that. Uh, Wendy, it's to um, soften the wood and protect it. Uh, that's what I read. The glycerin is used to uh, keep your solo wood flowers soft. Um, let's see here. This is another one that's half open, half closed, and I liked the size of it. Again, these are ones I think I'm gonna be using on my cutting board that Mr. Taterbug and cut for me. So I kind of picked and chose different sizes. Did you, Carla? Have, have you gotten them yet? Have you played with them yet? I love these flowers and I've got so many projects I'm doing with them. I told y'all the other day that a sweet friend of mine, his mother passed away recently, who was also a friend of mine, gifted me with a lot of her beautiful old pieces. Um, Opa, it did already? I'm telling you, they are on the ball. They are on the ball. Um, I don't know about that, Wendy. I have been, I've been studying for like a week solar flowers so, as I can because there's been a lot going on in my world but I have been um, whenever I get a chance um, kind of studying up on different ways to dye them and there are a couple that I've seen and um, several different ways to color them but pretty much across the board the glycerin and water uh, pr to protect them and keep them soft is, soft is what I came up with can you just buy glycerin? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna add to the shop. I got it on Amazon, and I guess I didn't go on and add it uh, to my shop page because I hadn't gotten it yet. And I kinda like to try the stuff first before I just go putting it on there and letting y'all know, hey, this is great, I wanna 
I want to see. Uh, but everything, all the research I did, this is good and uh, this is how you use it. I do not know the difference in this and the actual softener that Sola uses. That's another thing I need to look up and see if I can do some research on. Um, so, okay. Mm, one, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Look at this. I, that looks like a pretty rose, doesn't it? Again, I don't know how the coloring's going to go with this. Oh, it's hot in here, y'all. Uh, they may still have a Facebook page, Sherry. Um, I'm not positive. I thought I'll, I think I looked it up the other day, but I've looked up a lot of stuff. Um, I just got the set of 100 natural uh, flowers right here. Here it is. I still haven't taken them all out of this plastic yet, but you can see there's, I love the uh, natural wood edge on a lot of them. That, I was crazy about that. And so that's what I ordered. Let me see if it says, yes, 100 random assorted wood flowers is what I ordered. And I am dying to try, that. I saw several uh, sets that I'm dying to try, but the next on my list, my wish list is the succulents that they have. They're so pretty. Oh, Cindy, I, I think y'all are gonna love it. I think y'all are gonna love it. Renewable fast growing marsh plant called Aschinamini <laughs> Aspera. Thank you for Googling that. <laughs> Welcome, Christine. We have a first timer. Hey, Christine. I hope you'll take a peek around my page and um, see if you see anything that you like and want to follow us. Um, hey, Michelle. You're. You're at the swimming pool, Cindy. That's all I'm going to tell you. I wish I was at the swimming pool. I'm doing this because I want to see, I want to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing down here. Okay. So, before I did this, um, I got out some paint colors. This is a Dollar Tree cookie sheet. I just had it in here. I've got two paper towels on the top. We're going to just set these right over here. That's where they're going to go to dry anyway. And now we are going to play with color. This is going to be fun. I think I want to start with the poppy. I hope I don't ruin any flowers. Thank you for the stars, Karen. That's so sweet. I appreciate that. Yeah, Penny, how long is it going to take me to get to your pool? <laughs> Yeah, my look said it all, didn't it, Cindy? <laughs> uh, some from Thailand and some from India. That is interesting. Okay, now, apparently, you don't need much. This is my plain acrylic because I, I did some research, and they use acrylic paints to do this also, and I played with it the other day. Not on a live, but I showed it to you after I did it. And I... Mm, do I have that one around? I may have used it in a project. I can't remember. All right. So, this is the one that I thought looked like a poppy. Mine won't look exactly like a poppy, but I'm going to see what I can do with this. Scares me a little bit. It's black, but cross your fingers. Oh, thanks, Libby. This will be fun. Thank you for the stars, Barbara. Hey, Jan. I'm going to just... I'm going to dip my little filbert paintbrush in this glycerin water and i'm going to dab off the excess just uh, just like tap it on the side and i'm just going to dip into some black and i'm since it's black i'm going really really carefully uh, cindy i've got a link um, in the description where you can order them they're solo wood flowers and i love them love them love them hey kathy and penny I'm glad y'all are here. Now, I'm just going to start painting the center part of this flower. Um, 
I think with this method, you can kind of go more vibrant from what I've heard than the dyes. So we're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna do this several different ways. I'm gonna do it the way I did the other day on my own before I knew about the glycerin and I loved how it turned out and it didn't take long to dry at all. But again, it's not protected. It, I didn't put the glycerin on it. Um, hey, Tiffany, you made it here. Been to the Dollar Tree today. I don't know which one you went to. Now see how it's just kind of, all I did was touch the brush to that center. It was like a little bud in the middle and it's starting to come out in the petals around it. That's why I did, I just wanted to be careful with that black to see how much it would bleed because this is an experiment. I haven't tried this before. You're, you're watching me try it live. Hey, Pam from New Orleans. Is anybody else new today? I want to be able to say hello and welcome. I do love how now that it's, if you, you know, we've soaked the flower, the paint just seeps up through these petals. Look at it growing. Isn't that pretty? Yes, it spreads, Penny. That is so cool. Okay, and again, I just want this middle part to be black, and then the outside part I'm going to do, and um, I'll show you the color that I chose. You know, poppies are kind of a reddish-orange, I think. Well, some poppies. There may be other kinds of poppies that are different colors. I don't know, but I just love poppies. And uh, I thought this would be fun. And this one reminds me of a poppy. Oh, this is going to be so fun to try, y'all. I, I can't wait. Um, yeah, Karen. Um, I, I added one part glycerin to ten parts water. I didn't measure, but... I think that's close. Hold that flower down in there, count to three, pull it out. And I've just done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flowers so far. And while they're still wet, I'm just dipping my paintbrush into the gly uh, glycerin water and um, into this little dot of paint I've got out on my plate. And it does not take much paint. I'll tell you that. Because they're wet, it's uh, kind of soaking right up. You know, they feel, they don't feel like wood. They feel like styrofoam? Mm, that's not really a good analogy. What do they feel like, y'all? Um, oh, good, Donna. So that got you, um, that got you here. The, the cheesecake brought you into the studio. I'm so thankful. Okay, now I'm gonna, since this is black and I don't want the red to turn black. I am cleaning my brush in this other water, just plain tap water over here. Let me lay that down. Get that out of there because I don't want that to... Uh... Oh, you did, Deanna! That is so sweet of you! Oh, I'm so glad. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're, you're on my live today. Popcorn. That's it exactly, Pat. They feel like popcorn. That's the perfect analogy. Yes. Okay. So there's the black in the middle. Now, what do y'all think? Is that a good poppy color? It's called Crimson. It's Craft Smart Crimson. Oh, do you, Teresa? This is all new to me. This is a whole new, um, whole new thing. So I'm just learning with y'all because, like I said, I did not know about solo wood flowers um, until Artis and Julie sent me some in the mail and oh my goodness. Hey Tabitha! Uh, I fell in love. So I'm dipping into the glycerin water again, just the tip of my brush. Gonna grab a little bit of this crimson. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go way down into the petal we're going to see if this is going to be vibrant enough. If not, I can go back with a second layer once it dries. I'm just pulling out from the base of the inside of this flower. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. What do you think? 
Oh, were they really pinning? Good, 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 good. So I'm, I'm kind of getting the color right. Hi, Charlotte. I'm so happy you're here. Let me get this little, this funny little petal that I don't know what happened to him down here, but I don't want to leave him out. And I'm not, if you see, I'm not dipping into the water as much with this red because I really, I like, I want it vibrant. And the flower is already wet from being dipped in the glycerin water. So, do you see how that petal back here cracked? That's why you want to um, soften them so they won't do that. I don't hate it because real flowers do that naturally sometimes. Um, so, what did, let me see. Marjorie, you're so sweet. That's not true, but you're so sweet to say that. I've heard different things, Michelle. Um, I read, I think it was today, that they usually take about two weeks to dry. I don't have that kind of patience. I want to do this cutting board. Um, so I'm going to see if I'm going to tr try sitting them outside in this Memphis heat and see how that does. I'm going to do a little bit more research on the oven drying method too. I'll, I'll have to do a lot of research on that one because y'all know how I am about heat and fire and all that. I don't want to ruin my flowers. No, Debbie, actually these are solo wood flowers. Um, if you want to, you know, look them up, there's a link in my description of this video where you can go uh, look at what they are and kind of read about them. Um, they are, well, like Pat said, they're like, they feel like popcorn. They don't feel like wood, but you do need to soften them uh, because apparently they will dry out over time. I don't know if that's months or years or what, but um, they're very delicate so i just i love them and whatever i create with them i would like for it to last i don't want them you know if i sell a piece i don't want it to break or you know look bad in in a short amount of time so i just want to do it right and so we're just playing today i promised y'all i would uh try um try doing this on a live where we actually dye some and we paint some and we do the softener I'm gonna need a little more crimson. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, that's exactly the ratio I used. All right, I'm just dipping way back down in here and pulling out toward the end of the uh, petals. I'm getting in those little crevices. Hi, Betty, you made it. I was worried about you. We were talking about you earlier, hoping everything's okay. I told them you could use some prayers. You had a, a rough start to the day, so I hope you're feeling better. We are just playing with, uh, I'm experimenting with solo wood flowers today. I'm telling you, y'all are really expanding my horizons um, with all these new things I'm trying, and I'm having a ball with it all. But I do, for everything y'all have turned me on to, I like to have some ideas for y'all, and so that's why I brought the, uh, the cutting board that he cut out for me, because I really, I want to tell you what I'm going to do with it, with these flowers. Oh, your fur baby isn't. Oh, Betty, it's not. Is it? Is it serious? Oh, I hope not. That that hurts my heart. You've been at the dental hospital today, Elizabeth. Are you okay? What did you have done? Oh, I don't. I don't like the dentist. I don't like any stuff in my mouth. Thank you, Bunky. I think this color is really, really pretty. And it turned out, you know, it's looking very poppy-ish, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just getting the edges of these that I that I um, painted black. I'm doing those a little red so it transitions without so much of that natural color showing through. 
and I'll keep y'all posted, of course, um, on the drying time as we go along, you know, in the next few days, uh, on the drying time, on any tips and tricks I come across for the drying. And when my dyes come in, we're gonna do the same thing live. We're gonna use the dyes and see how they compare so that you can, um, you can choose what method you want to use. Now, I will say this, time-wise, the dyeing is going to be a lot faster, obviously, because you are going to dunk, pull it out of there, and sit it on a tray. So if you've got a whole bunch of them um, to do, you may want to go with the dye. That's why I went on and ordered it, because I knew as much as I want to use these flowers, I, I can't, you know, paint every single one of them. I don't have the time for every project. Um, but I wanted to show y'all both ways so you could decide which way you wanted to do it for your projects. Okay. Because this is one poppy, and you see, it's you know, it's taking a while. You're hand painting a flower. Oh, on the same day, Gail. I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Because I think as warm as it is here right now, and probably where most everybody is right now, we could set them outside and speed up that process. So I may be able to. Put our cutting board together live Tuesday. Uh, today is Tuesday, Lindy. It's not Tuesday. Thursday live. <laughs> All my days are messed up. Uh, look, it's coming right along. Look, it is. It's gonna look like a poppy, isn't it? Take your teeth regular. Oh, oh, okay, Elizabeth. Uh, you can, Pat. I'm gonna show you on a. A flower that I haven't dipped another way to do it um, this is just one way I, I have another way this has been these flowers have been dunked in the glycerin water so I'm going easier on the adding the water to them right now because they're already wet and I really really want them to be vibrant it does doesn't it Karen I'm really pleasantly surprised I haven't done this before and I just 15 minutes ago thought oh that when I was pulling flowers I thought that one looks like a poppy I wonder if I could pull that off you know if I can make it look like a poppy whether that's really what this flower was intended to be or not I don't know now for time's sake I'm not gonna paint the back yet y'all can see you've got an idea how much that's gonna work so and there are there were quite a few of um, this type of flower in my assortment that I got so I can just imagine, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I can just imagine um, we could paint a canvas, do the background, do the stems and everything, and make these, you know, glue these onto the canvas so that it's a 3D piece of art. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, Pat. Okay, so this goes over onto the drying sheet right here. Now, Okay, let me try. You know, I told y'all I wanted to try one of these. It's really closed up. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Um, I really don't know, but I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go about it a little different way. And I think. I think I want to color this one this uh, pinky coral, maybe like a, a rose. And so it won't hurt to have if there is a little red left in this brush. What I've noticed with these white bristle brushes though, it just stains and you, you can't get all the color out of that. Hey Janet! Okay, so we've got, let's see, I just pulled this um, Ceramco Salmon color. It's one of my favorites. I'm just going to put another oops, dot down here on my little styrofoam plate. This is really thin paint anyway. And for this one, I do think I'm going to dip my brush into the glycerin water pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, I, I've read that too, uh, Kathy, but I just wanted to do so many different ones today that I thought I would do it this way. You know, we would dip in the glycerin water and then paint them this way. But you, I've heard you can mix that in with water, your acrylic paint, and dip them, but it won't be quite as vibrant. That's what I read. Hey, Barbara. Yeah, I love this salmon color. All I'm gonna do, because you can't get between these petals, I'm gonna start just painting. I'm just gonna put lots of paint on the top like this and just let it soak down in there since it's already wet. Look at that take to the, to the paint. Oh, that's pretty. You're not going to see in between um, these petals anyway, but I just thought this might be pretty just tapping, um, tapping paint onto the top of the damp flower that's really tightly closed. And it's just soaking right down in there. Oh wow, I love that. I hope y'all like experimenting with me as much as I do. <laughs> oh, I know, Penny. I, that's on my list. I've got this pretty wooden box that is over there in my storage cabinet because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I forgot what I used it for. I think I used it last Christmas for something. Um, and once I started working with these, I know exactly what I'm doing with that box. I want a bouquet in that wood box that I can keep out. Y'all know I, we're redoing the bedroom. We got the floors yesterday. Oh, the floors are so pretty. I can't wait to show y'all a picture. And um, Mr. Tater Buggin immediately put the new bed together. And I had gotten some bedding yesterday. It's all on the bed. I've just got so much to tell y'all about, but I want to, uh, now really I want to do some accents in there that I've made, because we're not doing it extravagantly. We don't do anything extravagantly around here. <laughs> um, but I want it to be really pretty, and oh, every time I walk through that room, I, I hated our bedroom, y'all. I just really did. It was dark and closed off, and I hated the carpet in there. And uh, we just got the floors that match the rest of the house now in the bedroom. And it's all clean and fresh and bright. And, ugh, I can't wait to show y'all pictures. But a lot of this stuff, um, you know, we're kind of DIYing. And um, we come across some great, great deals that I can't wait to tell y'all about. But anyway, I'm just yammering on while I paint this flower. What do you think of this one? Does that, does that look good? Let's see. Once I get the, it needs a little bit more. Thank you, Judy, for the stars. Yeah, that's, I feel like, you know, if I can uh, be the tester for y'all and let you know ahead of time what works and what doesn't, might save y'all some time, some money, um, you know, anything that's helpful. As long as y'all don't mind, I could do this on my own time and then just report back to y'all. But it's way more fun if I get to talk to y'all while I do it. <laughs> yeah, this color, this salmon color is so pretty. Now this flower, of course, goes a lot faster because you don't have to get down in between each petal. It's just soaking right on in there. On these little open parts on the bottom, I am just sliding that brush right down in there to, in case you can see, or in case it, I mean, do y'all know, some of y'all have done this, so do you know if once you've dipped these flowers, do they open up more, or do they stay closed? I don't know what to expect. Yes, they sure do, Michelle. Shipping was... Um, is, is not bad at all. I would say, I think I got them within the week, you know, that I ordered. And like I said, the dyes were supposed to be here yesterday. Um, but FedEx held them hostage in Utah and, um, they're not here yet, but 
maybe tomorrow. Because they're still saying the estimated delivery date is the 19th. And, well, you know. Oh, you can form them, Stephanie. Oh, that's fun. So, you can form them after they dry. You turn your bedroom into a cave like your old room. You know, it's a personal preference, isn't it? It really is. Now, at night... I want that room dark as pitch. And it is. It's, there's, you know, we, the studio comes right off the bedroom, so no light's coming in here. And there's one other window that, uh, you know, faces over toward my mother's house, and there's a shed on that side of the house. So, yeah, I don't get a lot of light in that room. I don't have to have curtains or anything. Um, but still no light however um our bathroom our master bathroom has a big window at the end and there's a, a security light our neighbor has on his garage which we're thankful for but shines right in the bedroom at night so we've just got to cover that window right now we're having to close that bathroom door at night uh, for that but um we're getting a, a window covering on that window and hopefully a shower door soon. I'm just waiting for that so I can show y'all pictures of my bathroom redo too. You know, we've been saying we were gonna do this for a couple of years and I just don't like the whole process. We're smack in the middle of it right now and it's about to kill us both, but it's coming along. Okay, there's front and there's back. This is wet. I'm going to take pictures once they dry. I'm going to report back to y'all on all of this, I promise. Now, I want to show you a different way that I saw somebody do it, which I thought was interesting. I'm going to take, let's try, I haven't done any in this uh, antique gold. Maybe, that'll be pretty. Um, so, I'm just going to draw off, there was, there was a little bit of, water left from me sitting the flowers right here on this plate so I don't want any water on it to show y'all this technique hey Sue form them while wet see I'm learning so much oh that's cool okay I'm, I'm just going to see what happens if I move this around a little bit because I'm just playing today to see what, what they do I'm so they're so delicate that I'm just nervous about hurting them. But I see what you mean. Now these are kind of tight here, so I don't want to break them. But I see what you mean. You can kind of pull it out and form it a little bit more. Like that. See how I opened it up just a little bit? Um, okay, now I'm going to take... Hello! There's Mr. Tater Buggin. Remember these? Dana Springsteen Merritt. Have to get that in. Hello, love. Hello, love. He's been to Lowe's again for the millionth time. I actually went to Hobby Lobby. He went to Hobby Lobby without me. Um, Facebook post welcoming me and giving tips on using the flowers. Oh, that's great, Judy. Can you paint two colors? Look what I did. Yes, I did a poppy. And so I put black in the center and red on the outside. So yes, you can absolutely do two colors. And maybe we'll do, um, I'm gonna show this technique and then I'll pull out another flower that we've dipped and we'll see if we could do, um, oh Marjorie, that's so sweet, thank you. He's a lovely man, isn't he? I just love him to pieces. Okay, yeah, this is still, yeah, that's still pretty damp, but um, let's do this one in a solid, in this other technique, a drier technique, and then we'll do one, two colors. Y'all just tell me what colors to use. Okay, now I didn't add any water to my brush or to the paint. I'm going to just dip into that, and I'm going to go, this is one I actually saw. I watched a tutorial on this one. This is how I did um, the flower I did, the only other flower I've tried. Now you take the 
the color, the, just the color, with no water on your brush, and go way down deep into the flower at the base of the petal, right down in here. Then you take plain water, add a, just a little water to your brush, and you go down in here and you pull the paint out like this so that it it's kind of a gradient it's deep in the oh sorry deep in the middle of the flower and then lighter as you bring it bring it out with the water almost like watercolor i'm just going to hit the edges here of this this petal's kind of thick okay now let me daub off the paintbrush and let's try another petal I'm going to do just a small bit right down in here on this one. Then a little water on my paintbrush. And then, have you done this before too, Marjorie? This technique? And then just pull it, just drag your wet brush along and pull that acrylic down the petal. I, can't, I need to look at the screen and see where I am. So y'all can see this. That's pretty. That's really pretty. What do y'all think? Uh, Rita, I didn't add more glycerin. I dipped the I dipped this flower. All the flowers I'm pulling from right now were dipped in the glycerin in the very beginning. So they'll be protected too. Okay. Dry that off. Let me grab some more of this paint. Right down here. And go on, I'm going to go on and hit both of these with the paint. We'll do three. All right, I'm going to grab a little water and just pull that paint out. about that it does doesn't it sherry it really does okay oh there's let me grab a little water on this one pull that paint out but because this flower is still you know good and damp even adding that um, acrylic paint at the base you can start to see it seeping up through the petals so it might be um, nice dimension I like it yeah I, I agree Debbie um, it might be that if you just left it alone for a little bit it might you know just leave some of the white color and just let some of that acrylic start to creep up you know what I may do that on these inner petals just put the um, paint down deep in there and see what happens if it'll just slowly seep up. Um, no, Carol, you really always need to do the glycerin. Dip them in the glycerin for three seconds, glycerin water for three seconds. Take them out, even if you're not going to paint them, and put them on, you know, just your uh, cookie sheet with paper towels for them to dry and that just softens them i believe with the dyes you can um i could be wrong but i believe with the dyes you can do the glycerin in the dye and do it all in one step when you dip the flower but that i've got to read up on some more my dyes haven't made it here so i'm gonna study up some more on methods to dye the flowers with their dyes um, but I found this you know I have so many acrylic paints and I just found this uh, interesting that you could actually paint them with acrylics so I wanted to try that with y'all all right so do you see on some of these that I've done already 
you can still see a little of that uh, natural color through there. I kind of like that. So I'm going to see if I paint this middle part, this yellow, just the solid color yellow, and then hit the insides of these inner petals. If they're wet enough or moist enough to for it to just kind of seep up and leave some of this pretty natural color. This is what I'm doing. My little hummingbird's watching me out the window. <laughs> Um, you know, Carol, I think if you did that, it would probably take a lot of the paint, a lot of the pigment out of the flower. Would be something to try, but um, I believe I would, you know, dip them first and then, then paint them if you really want some color on them. Are you, Carol? Get yeah. I think they're so pretty. And I, I'm I'm really liking leaving some of that natural color on this one. This is like I told y'all. This is all an experiment for me too. This will give me ideas of you know different ways to paint them or to to color them for different projects. Let me just pull that up just a little bit more. Make it look like flowers, flowerish. What do y'all think of that? Oh, that's pretty. Hey, Emma, how are you doing? Hi, Joyce. We are playing with solar flowers today. Okay, now, do we want to do a, a two tone? What if we did a two tone on this one? Is this a good one? Which one should I do? Two tones. And what colors should I use? I think so too, Judy. Um, I love that natural with that gold too. I think a lot of different colors would look good just um, with the natural showing too. Aqua. I've got that out. Yes. Aqua. Um, Aqua and what? Do we want to do two colors or just um, red and white? Two tones are beautiful together. Blue and purple. Ooh, that'd be pretty, wouldn't it? Okay, okay. Let me just pull this apart a little bit more. Teal and aqua. So like a lighter and a deeper hue. I'm going to pull some paints. I'm going to pull some purple and blue. And a, a, I've got an a aqua on the table. And we'll do another flower in um, the other two colors. Okay, let's see here. Too many paintings over here. I can't see all my paints. And a purple. What do y'all think of those two together? Is that does it need to be a deeper blue? Teal and lavender. Mm, that would be so pretty. Here's a lavender. Right there. And I've got teal on the table. Oh, I think I want to try that with this, what looks like a little lotus flower, mint and teal. Yes, 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 yes. What do y'all think about um, those two together? Yeah, I think a deeper blue would be too. Yellow and brown like a sunflower. Let me grab, let me grab the deeper, um, like the turquoise-ish color that would go with this lighter. Here we go. Now let's, 
What about these two on a flower together? Pale pink and greenish blue. That would be so pretty, Jimmy. Yes. Okay. Let's let's see what we can do with these two first. And we'll go. We don't need that. Um. Here it is. So. Teal in the middle and go out to purple. Dark color down deep and lighter in, on the tips. Okay, let me try that. But, let's see. Okay, this one's going to be, I'm using, it's actually lavender, Anita's lavender. And this is called Tropic Bay Blue. Y'all know this is one of my favorites. I think I have another one of these. This is about empty. Yeah, sure is. Okay. Get all the paint off of this brush. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're trying now, Jimmy. If you were late getting here, um, if y'all are late, we're, this is what we're doing. All of these have been dipped in glycerin water mixture to keep them soft. We did a poppy. We've used acrylic paint. This looks like a rose. We've used different color techniques for these with acrylic paints and water while they're still damp. So we're just experimenting and playing. So let's see. I think I'll do... Oh, teal in the middle or purple in the middle and then go out. Oh, what do y'all think? And I think I'm going to dip into the glycerin water on this one. Any suggestions before I go? Yeah, that's a pretty one, isn't it, Jimmy? I like how it's the two-tone. So that's why we're going to use two different colors and see how that works together. That may be a hot mess, but we'll just see. Purple middle. Here we go. That's all I need to hear. I'm going to dip a little bit into my glycerin water. Just a little bit on my paintbrush. I'm going to dip into this. This should be fun. Seeing how... I didn't think think of doing a two-tone flower. Other than, you know, of course, like the poppy that you see that way. But I love that idea. And I love the idea of a lighter and a darker hue of the same color. There's our lavender middle. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go right down in here. Just at the base of these inner petals. And do like I did on the yellow flower. And just, just paint that middle part. I mean that base of each petal and then I think okay should the petals be two-tone y'all or should I make um, should I go in with the teal on those same petals and look like it it goes lilac to teal or just purple in the middle and teal on the outside There's a there's a, a lag in the in the video, so I have to kind of wait for y'all. I'll await your instruction. Just do it, Lindy style. I'm just gonna throw caution to the wind, and let's see what just happens. How they mixed together if I just go in with some teal right here on this part of the flower. I don't know. I don't know. It's all a grand experiment. What do you think? What do you think? I think what I'm gonna do, let's try this. Now that I've got two uh, petals like that, 
I'm gonna dip into this glycerin water just a little bit and I'm gonna pull the purple up, see if I can pull the purple up into the teal. I think that's kind of pretty. It looks more natural that way. <gasps> oh, let me show y'all. Okay, let me do the other, these other two right here real quick and then show you. Yes, that's what I just did. Oh, good, 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 good. It, it um, gives it that watercolor look and it looks like they're kind of, like you said, muddled together. teal on that middle part by accident okay can y'all can you tell something about that I want to see what you think about that that's kind of cool looking uh, you know it's deep in the middle and then comes out to that teal color I wondered that today too Robin I don't know I would think I would think it would be really pretty why couldn't you I hadn't seen anybody do this but why couldn't you um, do the glycerin water mixture and use that for your watercolors and you're killing two birds with one stone, kind of like we are here. Um, you're protecting it, you're softening it um, as you're painting it. I don't know, it seems, stands to reason to me that would be pretty cool. I guess, you know, I think a lot depends on um, how vibrant you want your colors to be if you want them to be really really soft hey gail like um watercolor you know perfect if you want if you need a bold you know color like the poppy you'd want to go heavier with those acrylics load two colors on your paintbrush at the same time here i go right dipping right from the lilac into the teal oh that's pretty Great idea, Leanne. That is really pretty. Let me do a couple and show you. You're brilliant. Can y'all see those last two down there at the bottom? Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, I bet you could, Robin. These are Sola Wood Flowers, uh, Joyce. Hi, Beverly. Sylvia. Y'all come on in. Uh, we're we're going to... Oh, gosh, I've gone over an hour already. Did it again, y'all. Okay. I think you got a good idea of um, some techniques. I know I did. This has been so fun. And um, I'm going to report back to y'all about the... Uh, drying time and how they feel once they dry and once again let me recap here I'll finish this off camera these are so pretty I'll take pictures of them for you um, what I'm doing is I'm prepping these for this big um, cutting board mr. tater buggin made for me and stained we're gonna put the jute rope handle I'm gonna letter on it and we're gonna have solo wood flowers all down here. I hope, I hope it will come out as pretty as I want it to in my head. And I think it'll be a, just a beautiful um, kitchen decor piece, don't you? But I wanted to do these flowers right. I didn't want them to um, get brittle over time. And um, yeah, I want them to look good. Yeah, I, I you know, can't you imagine these painted in some beautiful fall colors? Do the, like the sunflower colors, the oranges, the yellows, the browns, the burgundies, uh, and doing a beautiful fall bouquet when it comes Christmas time. You know, I can see you using these a whole bunch of different ways at Christmas. Um, yeah, so I hope so, Judy. I hope it will. I'm excited about it. When he brought it over to show me, oh, I just, my heart went pitter-patter. Look at all those 
look at that beautiful grain that came out and this is just old reclaimed wood y'all and uh, I think it's I think it turned out beautiful so we're just gonna letter on it I'm gonna hand letter and solo flower the bottom I've got so many projects that I want to do for my house with the solo wood flowers that are just sitting right there in my garage waiting to happen so I have to prep some flowers hi Sherry yeah be sure to catch the replay this was fun to experiment with the preservation and um, colorization of <laughs> wouldn't be alive if I didn't pull a Lindy right <laughs> So anyway, uh, Sharon, we talked about that. Um, if y'all would like, I'm going to ask him. I'll ask his permission. These are 12-inch ones, so we would probably have to go down to around 8-inch. Uh, but if that's something y'all are interested in, I'm betting he'll do anything for y'all. When y'all ask, he's like, yes, I'll do it. <laughs> so uh, this, yes, I ordered an assortment. The name of my assortment was just a 100 the 100 uh, assorted wood flowers. And I believe the sale is still going on, I'm not sure. Uh, it was 60% off, and you don't wanna miss that. Uh, that's why I went on and uh, ordered mm, all the dyes the other day. And I was gonna order my succulents, but they were sold out, and I was so sad, because you know me and succulents. Um, I'm gonna add the glycerin as soon as we get off here, I'm going to add the glycerin to my Amazon shop. That's where I ordered it from, and it's inexpensive. So I'll just put this on. Uh, and you, This ought to last me quite some time because, again, you're using one part glycerin to ten parts water for your flowers. And I'll probably go on and dip some more in this because I don't want to waste this. I'll go on and dip some more and just have a whole two cookie sheets drying, and I'll let y'all know how that goes, too. Thank you, Robin. Um, so that's that today, y'all, and I don't want to keep you any longer. We're getting into the to the dinner hour and all. Oh, thank you, Jewel. I love you being here. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you for being so sweet to us and supporting us the way you do. I hope you have just a wonderful evening. And I'll be back as usual Thursday at 4. We may, if these are dry, we'll put our uh, cutting board together. If not, I'll have something else fun for us to do until they're ready. Okay? So, I love y'all. Come back and see me Thursday and have a great evening. Check that Amazon shop after I get off of here.